Tucked away in a valley in Bhutan's Paro district, the village of Chunju looks all but untouched by modernity. The farmers bring in their rice harvest by hand, removing the grains with pedal power. But three years ago, they took part in a political revolution. Of course I voted. The local representative was a former minister, and he came to us and told us it would be a democracy and that he'd bring development to the village. And we villagers gathered together as one and voted. The people of Chunju village were far from alone in voting for the ruling party. In fact, of the 47 seats being contested, only two went to the opposition. And that's one of the reasons that democracy in Bhutan is still being described as being in an experimental stage. The Peace and Prosperity Party swept the board in 2008, its leader Jigme Tinle becoming Prime Minister. He says despite the majority, Parliament's checks and balances do work. And if ever they didn't, the king could use his moral authority to intervene. So if things go wrong, because of this authority, this power that he would enjoy, uh, I would like to think that he would be, or he should be, able to correct. Bhutan's recently married fifth king, Jigme Kesa Namyo Wangchuk, is hugely popular. But the leader of the two-man opposition says the prime minister is being irresponsible by raising the prospect of royal intervention. I think he's being disrespectful to the king. And I think as elected members of the people, as representatives of the people, I think it is also being disrespectful to the trust and confidence that the people have given us. But the people are increasingly speaking for themselves, as shown in a protest against heavy sentences for flouting the ban on tobacco importation. When a young monk was jailed for three years earlier this year, journalist Kinle Tsering launched a Facebook campaign, securing a promise from the government to amend the law. Protest is, I think, a mechanism through which uh, people, can, people can voice, especially those disgruntled citizens can voice their opinions. You know. In Chunju, they say they support democracy. The promise of a new road has been met. They can take complaints up the political chain. They say the old system was also good, but it's been left behind now. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Bhutan.